Hey y'all, how you doing? Happy weekend. Um, bear with me. This has the potential to be a very long video. I have a story and I have a box. Okay, so uh, y'all know that I canceled everything with Tamed Wild and went back and forth with them. It took uh, lots of emails and two, two attempts plus escalation of tickets on their part, but I finally got my refund from Tamed Wild. Um, and there were some other things that were attached to it, and I was like, I need to do this, and then I was like, you know what, no. No, because uh, I ended up getting my full refund for the price that I paid. And at first I was like, hey, listen, you know, the second time you sent the thing for the full refund, I did get some items from you. You know, I, I subscribed before you went for the the quarterly box. I did get some stuff. Let me pay you for those. And she didn't really say okay or no. She was just like, well, I didn't issue a full refund. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. By the time it was all over and done and said with, I figure... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I figured the stuff that I got for Now Free from Tamed Wild was just what I get for dealing with all that. So, while I'm waiting for the uh, the refund to come through, I'm like, you know what? This money's already spent. Uh, let me look at doing something else with it. So, I got on Etsy, and I started looking up, like, witchy subscription boxes or, you know, paranormal uh, mystery boxes and stuff like that. And I found this shop. It is the nature of Martha and I will link her page down below and all of her reviews were five stars. She had multiple boxes to choose from. I did choose the deluxe box, which is the highest tier. Um, <clears throat> and it took about, I want to say two weeks and, uh, I got notice on Thursday that the box had shipped and she sent it two day shipping. Um, I know I owe you a spiritual goodies after the box review. I was going to do that this weekend, but when I knew this box was coming for sure, going to be here this weekend, I was like, oh no, no, we're going to do that. So without further ado, let's see what's in here. I'll tell you after we go through the box what I paid for it. Okay. Um, so, first of all, and I kind of did okay at covering it up, but uh, let me cover up my address. She put my name all pretty on the box, y'all. Look at that. I love that. And uh, every inch is taped. Like, nothing that she put in here had any possible way to escape. So, we're going to try to cut all the places to make the opening happen <laughs> and hopefully I don't injure myself <sighs> so like I said I've already looked at all the reviews on her Etsy page they're all five-star reviews um so when you go to order your box she asks that you tell her a little bit about yourself. She asks that you don't ask for specific items, but that you, you know, tell her if there's something specifically that you don't want. Uh, so I told her, let's see how well she got me. So I told her that I identify as a kitchen witch um, and that I honor Hestia in my home. And uh, I told her I don't really do a whole lot with astrology. But I gave her all of my astrological information in case it helped her with picking things for me. Um, I told her that I don't really need any teas or smoke sticks. I've got a lot of tea. I have a lot of smoke sticks uh, because I live in a tiny house. I don't have to use a whole lot. And then when I get I break them up and burn them in a bowl anyway. So it, they kind of last longer. I did tell her that I do love a good ritual bath and that my favorite colors were anywhere from like the turquoise to the sage green, that whole, uh, that whole genre 
or genre, that whole part of the color wheel. And um, like I said, she said not to ask for specific things, but the whole time I'm typing this information, I'm like pushing forth energy for something specific that I want. And I'm anxious to see if it's in this box. Okay, so I think we've got it. I'm not trying to look. I want to give y'all first look. Okay, yes. We got, oh, it smells good. There's smelly stuff in here. And, oh, <laughs> big surprise for nothing. So it says, a magical thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my magical craft and small business. I put so much love and intention into everything I create and hope you can feel that. It fills me with great joy and purpose to be able to share such an important part of myself with you. If you love what you ordered and find yourself returning to my shop, please use the code for 15% off. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your purchase, do not hesitate to reach out. For more witchy content to learn about my craft, follow me on Instagram at the nature of Martha. Okay. So on top we have this beautiful pearlescent envelope. And attached to it is an oracle card. This is the back of it. That's so pretty. I love that. And here it says time. Too often it feels as though the hours turn into days, the days turn into months, the months turn to years, and suddenly the days of our lives have passed in the blink of an eye. But perhaps there is a reality, one where we didn't think of time as something to separate us. What if, in fact, time is actually a product of us? What if, then, it is time that originates from us and not the other way around? It is when we start to realize that we are one with time when the magic happens. Hmm. Something to think about. I love that. Um, and a cute little paper clip. And I'm pretty sure in here is the list of she sends a description of everything that you get with the box. So I just want to make sure. Okay. So, oh, there's a ritual bath in here. Because here's a ritual bath guide. my receipt thank you so much for your order willa and it looks like <clears throat> custom box for me and yes this is everything that's in the box y'all one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 bold items, and the last thing has a bunch of little items. So, let's see in here. This is very well packaged. Um, ah, okay. Like it is packed full if it's like everything's wrapped in these but okay so we're gonna start right on top and I have a bag of herbs very beautiful herbs it looks like we've got some bay leaf and orange peel and uh, I'm not sure what the purple is but there's chamomile big big bag of herbs and also just like kind of looking the intention I was setting was not received <laughs> so, um, and then we have 
this little jar or these jars uh, I don't know what this blue one is so it looks like I don't even think that's calendula or marigold but we've got like, these are taped up really well but I don't want to open them until I know for sure what I'm doing with them. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Okay. So then we're going to take this one. And there is also, I should have drug my trash can over here. Pull my chair over. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have some, man, Martha, okay, your boxes are not made for unboxings. <laughs> it's, we have some cling wrap. I'm trying to find the end of it. So it looks like there's a, a little selenite wand down here, but it's attached to a bunch of dried flowers and I'm trying not to destroy anything oh oh that's so pretty oh, oh look at that isn't that beautiful oh and it smells so good I don't know if I'm gonna have room on my table, y'all. Scoot that box back a little bit. Make sure there's nothing back there that's gonna. Okay. And then let's go for this. And more cellophane. <laughs> that's cool. That oh, how cute! It's a bunch of um, little glass jars with the cork toppers. And you guys, like the littlest one here will hold a Tic Tac. I don't know if you can see it, but so this one's as long as my finger and it ranges in size all the way down to this little teeny tiny one up here that seriously looks like it will hold a Tic Tac. And there are six little, six jars in there. Oh, I did tell her I make, I like making little spell jars. Uh, so I'm guessing this is my ritual bath. It's got some uh, some little gauzy tea bags and there's some salts. I want to open it and smell it but I uh, yes let's open it and smell it. Maybe her branding tape is, there we go. There's so much in this box, y'all. So much. Oh, that is very earthy and calming and that's just lovely that is lovely and then it's got the little tea bags that I guess you use to put it in then we have this little bag or I should I say wrapped item do 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 I know I feel like I'm taking forever, but when I tell it, like, she wraps this stuff. Okay, so it's like a bunch of little, um, please don't break. Like a 
a bunch of little chime candles in here. Yes. Yes, we've got white, black, two brown, and two pink. Okay. And then next we have something this size. We have a bunch of um, crystal chips and they are labeled. So let's see, it looks like, uh, I'm not sure about the first one, second one maybe quartz, aventurine, lapis, maybe some malachite. I want to say the blue's turquoise, but I don't want to get my hopes up because we all know how expensive real turquoise is. Okay, let me get, still so much stuff left. This video is going to take years to upload. So I do have better internet now for like me watching stuff, but it still takes forever to, uh, to upload. It looks like we have another bag of bath salts. These, again, comes with the little tea bags, uh, are pink. Honestly, the tea bags I will probably use for tea, uh, because I've got a thing on my, in my bath that'll strain out anything. I don't have to worry about it going down the drain. Like, people who get these, uh, Please don't mess up these little seal bag things or whatever. Whoever started this was a genius. So, oh, and there's uh, there's whole jasmine buds in there. Mm. So this one is more earthy than flowery. There's kind of a little tang on the end of it. Uh, let's see. We've got a little bag like this. Let's see what's in the bag. So far, I'm digging everything in the box. Um, I will say also, so far, I'm not sure that I feel like anything is really personalized. Uh, except for the bath salts. This little guy does not want to come out. Oh, okay. We have a crystal. It's kind of, it's coming up brown there, but it, it's kind of um, more grayish. Possibly, possibly Labradorite. Uh, she did send me a tea ball. One, two. Like everything is just kind of blending in together now because it's uh, all wrapped in this brown crinkle paper. Yeah. I have a spray bottle full of something. It does look like maybe it leaked a little bit, but it is very well packaged. Uh, can I just kind of poke it so I can... It smells like rosemary. No, I don't even know what I've got going on here. <laughs> trying to keep this where I can we can read about it afterwards I'm trying to stay exciting and it's just I'm just like get I want to see let me see all this stuff so here is this kind of a round shape 
and another layer rosemary and lavender healing salve okay and that's a good two ounce size so um she does charge shipping and she charged a pretty good chunk for chip but so on etsy i don't mind so much because i know that they uh etsy charges and i i don't mind you charging me shipping to help offset those charges that is i get more lavender than rosemary out of that yeah so it says healing salve 100 organic all natural ingredients rosemary lavender herbal infused olive oil beeswax rosemary essential oil lavender essential oil sweet almond oil and vitamin e oil this small batch of salve was made with love to bring you both physical and spiritual healing and protection this was made on may 22nd 23 best used by december of 23 store in a cool place and then a similarly shaped item here that is wrapped in even more tissue paper Oh, we got a chunk of black obsidian. My son loves black obsidian. Whenever he comes over and looks at my rocks, that's, those are always the ones that he wants to look at. Okay, so then we've got this, just like that. And inside it are two little bags that feel like they've got some more crystals in there. Oh, look at my little quartz moon, y'all. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> And then, come out, come out. Oh, this is a decent sized chunk of black tourmaline. I have some little, little pieces of, I think, green tourmaline that I think came in a tamed wild box. Uh -uh. Trying to see. Okay, we've got four more items. So there's this. And. Okay. We have a set of salts. We've got black, gray, white, Himalayan, and red. I actually bought a similar. Years and years ago, I had. I got a bag each of. Probably pretty close. They were all ground fine. Um, but like this was, I got it off of Amazon. I wish I could go back that far in my history and see. But this was black lava salt. This was red algae salt, Himalayan salt, French gray salt. Um, so I love salts. Uh, let's open up this. Anybody want to guess what it could be? It looks very wand shaped. Uh, or could be a large taper candle. Or who knows? Maybe it's one of those magical items that is hiding its true shape until we get it out of the package. Oh, it's stuck in here on the rubber. Okay. Oh, okay. 
So it is a taper candle, and then it's got these dried flowers that she's put on there. Like, I appreciate the care, but there's so much cling wrap. <laughs> so much. Okay. Look at how pretty. That's beautiful. That's going to be something I'm going to have a hard time burning. Right. She just may hang out with me for a while. Unless we get to reading about it and it's like, oh, if you burn this candle and watch the flame go all the way to the bottom, you will instantly become a millionaire. And then you best believe that's what we're doing. So <laughs> but I don't think that's going to be the case. Then we have this. And it's still unwinding. And we are back with more cling wrap. Okay, so I did get a wand. I have this selenite wand. I really do not think that you can have too much selenite. Like it, you use it for cleansing and charging and purifying and yeah uh so and then let me double check the last item in the box is this what do we have okay it looks like we've got more jars and lots more herbs. So it looks like we've got jasmine and maybe some hibiscus. That's calendula. Rose petals. I'm not sure about that. And then we've got cloves. I don't know what number seven is. Chamomile. Honestly, all dried green herbs look the same to me, so I have no idea what that is. And then we have some multicolored peppercorn. Okay, so for those of you that don't want to stick around and listen to me read everything, um, this box was $155. Uh, yes, I love everything in the box. Um, the 155 was before shipping. I will say that based on what I saw on her reviews, I kind of was expecting a little more personalization besides putting my name on the box and here. Um, so... I'm not upset. I'm just kind of, uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I am a, a little disappointed. I, I was, for that price, I feel like maybe there should have been one big altar item or, uh, but maybe we're just spoiled to big subscription boxes. Maybe like this is, I'm pretty sure she does this out of her home. This is all stuff that she does. So maybe I should lower my expectations when it comes to my money. Let's read and see. Make sure we got everything. So we have the small spell jar supplies, which is a set of six empty spell jars, one of each size, two milliliter, five, uh, a five tall, a five short, 10 milliliter, 15, and 20. And then we have the white taper candle with pressed floral petals, Lily of the Incas, 
Yellow wood sorrel, sweet william flower. Lily is for protection, happiness. Sweet william is for love, grace, and gratitude. Wood sorrel is for healing and health. The white candle is thought of an all-purpose candle. White candles can generally be used to replace other colors when they are not available. When work, pardon me. When working with this candle, simply set your intentions into it as you light it. And then we have the spell candles. Um, I have already lost the thing that said something about the ritual that. Uh, the spell candles. We've got one white, one black, two pink, and two brown. White candle magic, attracting, purifying, cleansing, protection, balancing, clarity, divination, grounding, guidance, healing, higher self, hope, innocence, optimism, peace, spirituality, truth, willpower, and workplace magic. Black, protection, absorbing, acceptance, anger, the afterlife, banishing, binding, challenges, determination, death, endings, justice, loss, release, break, hexes, security, grief, negativity, magic, patience, persistence, rebirth, karma, secrets, spirituality, strength, and self-control. <gasps> <laughs> uh, pink candles are for acceptance, affection, beauty, compassion, reconciliation, children, healing, abuse, fidelity, family, friendships, femini femininity, kindness, love, marriage, nurturing, passion, sensuality, and love. And brown candles are for material matters, endurance, hard work, animals, balance, courage, grounding, finding lost objects, stability, material protection. This is a great candle to work with for home and hearth. She put an asterisk on there, so I guess that's my kitchen witch candle. Um, then we got the dried floral selenite wand, which was this. I wrapped it back up because I didn't want anything to fall off of it. Heather, Goldenrod, Gilly Lower, and Sweet William. While you can burn these flowers, the wand is intended to be on display with the selenite and used as an energy cleansing wand. You can place this on your altar or near your, near your sacred space or in the main space of your home. Selenites for cleansing, clearing, and moon magic. Heather is protection and luck. Goldenrod is prosperity, abundance, and divination. Gilly flower is happiness, contentment, joy, beauty, and sweet William is love, grace, and gratitude. And then we have, oh, oh, it's a simmer pot mix for a happy, loving, abundant, protected home. Add to a large pot of water on your stove and keep it at a low simmer. Since all items are dried, you can reheat the simmer pot for up to three days, add water as needed, and don't forget to stir in your intentions. It does have bay leaf for protection, psychic powers, healing, purification, and strength, bee balm blossoms for clarity, good working order, orange peel for love, luck, prosperity, and happiness, rosemary for protection, love, mental powers, cleansing, purification, and healing, Lavender for love, protection, longevity, purification, happiness, and peace. Okay. Um, chamomile for prosperity, love, and purification. Star anise for psychic powers and luck. Pink salt for love and protection. So I'm going to assume that the purple things that I don't know what they are are bee balm blossoms. That's cool. Okay. Okay, so that's another kitchen witch item. Right? Where did I... Uh, and then we have the set of five dried botanical apothecary set. Uh, for spell jars and satchels, do not consume. So, sunflower, duh, I should have known that. Hyacinth, which these are not listed in order. Isn't the hyacinth is the middle one, right? Um, fern, cypress, and hydrangea. So I'll have to look, because I don't know which one's the <laughs> hyacinth and the hydrangea. 
So sunflower is for wish wishes, wisdom, health, and fertility. Hyacinth is for love, protection, and happiness. Fern is for protection, luck, riches, youth, health, and exorcism. Uh, Cypress, longevity, healing, comfort, and protection. And hydrangea, it, hydrangea is for hex breaking. Just to make little uh, amulets out of those. Um, then we have the Kitchen Witch Apothecary set. Take a picture of the numbers written on the outer bag before taking them out. All items are 100% organic and safe to consume. So we have Jasmine for love, money, spirituality, and prophetic dreams. Hibiscus, which I think I guessed that one before. Yeah. Love, lust, and devotion. Calendula, protection, prophetic dreams, legal matters, and psychic powers. Rosebuds for love, psychic powers, healing, love, divination, luck, and protection. And goldenrod, I'm guessing is this last one, but it looks like just the stems um, for money and divination. And then down here we have cloves for protection, exorcism, love, and money. Bee balm leaves or bergamot for clarity and good working order. Chamomile for prosperity, love, and purification. Mugwort for strength, psychic powers, protection, prophetic dreams, healing, and astral projection. And then peppercorns for, for, for purification, healing, and protection. She says, I also included a metal tea steeper for a ritual tea drinking or loose teas. Uh, the ritual cleansing spray. Two ounce amber glass spray bottle, full moon water, rosemary essential oil, lavender essential oil, shake before spraying. So rosemary for protection, love, mental powers, dispel negative energy, purification, and healing. Um, and lavender for love, peace, happiness, protection, purification, and, and longevity. I knew I smelled rosemary in there. Then we have two ritual bath soaps. One for self-love and one for relaxation. This is rose and jasmine. It has rose petals, rose buds, jasmine flower, Epsom salt, certified authentic ancient ocean Himalayan pink salt. That was a mouthful. Uh, lavender essential oil, vitamin E oil, slow process lavender, rose herbal infused olive oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, and rosehip oil do with that it's okay here it is so the, this ritual that it says to look at for and you know, whatever it tells you how to do the ritual and then the lavender and chamomile is for the relaxation it has dried lavender dried chamomile epsom salt lavender essential oil sweet almond oil vitamin e oil jojoba oil note if you prefer to take showers over baths you can either empty the soaks into an organza bag or a disposable bag, tea bag to hang from your shower head. Wet the soak and apply it as a scrub while you shower, or you can sprinkle the soak on the floor of your shower to benefit from the aromatherapy of the soak. These soaks can also be used as a base for an offering bowl or a candle ritual, either for self-love spells or stress anxiety spells. Um, okay. Then we have the Rosemary Lavender Healing Salve. This salve was made with one with all natural, 100% organic ingredients and crafted with intentions. I just realized like I was just like giving y'all the five head action again. Um, crafted with intentions of comforting energy, not only to heal and hydrate your skin, but to also bring a calming energy field of protection around when you apply it. I prefer to craft my herbal balm oils the slow way in a cold infusion, letting the dry herbs soak in oil for six to eight weeks before the oil is ready. Personally, I find that this adds an extra special touch of patience and calming energy to each batch. Rosemary and lavender are two of my favorite herbs to work with and both hold magical properties of healing and protection as well as many wonderful medicinal uses. The salve is made with the same ingredients as my balm, but with a higher ratio of herbal infused oil, making it softer and easier to rub into the skin. It's a fantastic to use for sore muscles or massage therapy. 
and for easing lighting when doing lymphatic drainage massage. In general, it is great for healing super rough and dry areas of the skin, like elbows, hands, feet, knees, etc. The salve is extremely hydrating and a little goes a long way. Then we have... I'm telling y'all, I'm running out of room here. So we have the Witch's Salt Set. Um, salt has, long, has a long history and use of rituals, purification, blessings, and magical protection. Salt is created and thrives in the ocean or the womb of the goddess. It is the taste of earth and the waters of life. Salts are an amazing and versatile natural source for cleansing and is a must-have for anyone. Note, all salts are food safe except for the black salt. So the Witch's Black Salt... Uh, black salt is your dirty salt, powerful, badass bodyguard. It is made with intention and enchanted for protection, purification, setting boundaries, and deflecting, absorbing negative energy. You can also use it alone or as a base for spell work or ritual practices. If used to absorb negative energy, discard properly, sweep it out of your home while visualizing negatively leaving. Negativity leaving, bury it away from your home to ground the energies. Please don't bury salt. That messes with the environment. Nothing will grow there. Um, bury it away from it, da, 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 or toss it in a natural running source of water. My black salt is made in small batches, mortared by hand, and is made with coarse sea salt, activated charcoal, organic pasture raised brown eggshells, and sandalwood incense ash. Do not consume natural sea salt. The white, I feel like I'm taking, yeah, we're all, all, already 40 minutes in. So we have natural sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, gray Celtic, gray Celtic sea salt, uh, and red algae or Hawaiian salt. Comment down below if you want information about any of those salts, what she has in here, because A, again, 40 minutes in, the, there was a lot of stuff in here, and I, I feel like I'm boring, you guys. <laughs> Give me a big old hard eye emoji if you're still watching. <laughs> Um, we have the 8-inch selenite wand used for cleansing, clearing, and moon magic. Clear to opaque white. As for the chakras crown and the third eye, water safe, no. It will dissolve in water. Then we have the clear quartz moon carving for enhancing healing and transformation. Crystal clear to white, chakras all, water safe, and then she gives uh, more information about all of these. Then we have the black tourmaline raw form for protection, grounding, and recharging. Uh, opaque jet black, root chakra, and it is water safe. Then we have the large raw obsidian, protection, energy shielding, decisions, and grief. Glossy jet black, root chakra, and water safe. This crystal's number one gift is energy deflection. That's good. That's a good work rock. I need to take one of those to rock. So yes, this is Labradorite. Uh, intuition, wisdom, protection, gray green with multicolored iridescence, third eye chakra, and water safe. Then, okay, the last item. Huh, okay, the last item is our. Uh, I don't want to take them off because I don't have anything to label the tops of the bottles with the numbers and. I forget things. So we have this, our crystal chips. Um, take a picture of the numbers written on the outer bag before taking them in. Crystals. So number one is a uh, labradorite. Number two is gray moonstone. Three is green aventurine. Four is a barrel mix, barrel variety. I keep like just showing y'all the top of my head. I'm sorry, I'm no good at these videos. Uh, what is barrel mix of morganite, aquamarine, emerald, and heliodor? Okay. And then 
We have black tourmaline, lapis lazuli, malachite, and it is turquoise. Bright shades of blue and green. Yes. Okay. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to let y'all get back to your life. Like I said, I will link her shop in, um, in the description box below. Uh, I don't know, maybe, I think my favorite items are these herbs, um, not for eating, for eating, but I am a little underwhelmed, I, I am, uh, it's great stuff, and she, her, she also sells individual items very reasonably on, on her shop, but for, uh, the $155 that I paid before shipping, I am, I am a little underwhelmed. So I was hoping for so much more from this box. But maybe I just expect too much. I don't know. So anyway, you guys let me know below what you think. And, uh, if you want to go check out her shop, then please do so. Other than that, I think the universe keeps trying to teach me the same lesson that I keep telling y'all and you guys, which is uh, you are all the magic you need. So, Hestia Silver, stop buying all this stuff. <laughs> Uh, but it, it is a good, there's, I'm going to enjoy some things out of this box. So you guys have a wonderful day. Love y'all.